Hello and welcome to the Jimbo Fisher Show. Tom Block along with Coach Jimbo Fisher. And Coach, congratulations. You get the home opener, a victory over the Citadel. You go to 2-0. and and uh, certainly your team looked pretty crisp in that first half as you wind up getting the victory. We really did. I thought uh, defense did a nice job. They would bend, they'd get a couple first downs, and then we'd end up holding them. And then we had the ball four times in the first half and scored four touchdowns. Played very efficiently. Uh, had 290 yards and four drives. Uh, did the things we had to do, got ahead. Thought the defense did a real nice job coming out the second half, getting quicker at three and outs. And then mm -hmm. offensively, we moved the ball extremely well again. Had two drives down and we had that touchdown throws that I thought we could have held on to that uh, we ended up kicking field goals on. We got you know, to keep working on that. But the efficiency of what we did, we only punted once on the night, was extremely well. Unconventional uh, offense to prepare for, mm -hmm. certainly. I mean, you faced two dramatically different uh, oppositions in terms of their offenses here through two weeks. And, you know, the thing, Citadel did a great job. They ran their offense to, to a tee. And the thing, they were very patient. They ran the clock down, snapped the ball late in the clock, shortened the game, three yards, four yards, hit an option for five or six. I mean, very patient and made you play very disciplined football. And we got guys on the ground, but that is a, it's a very tough offense to play against. Florida State gets the win and goes to 2-0. and We'll uh, look at the highlights in our next segment. But, Coach, a great crowd. It was a sellout for the yes. home opener. Uh, Well-deserved, as it should be, with the success you've been having. It really game. was. And, you know, just you worried with the rain and all that coming out there in the bad weather. And thank you for the people for coming out. It was, it was a great atmosphere. Florida State gets the victory over the Citadel. We will queue up the highlights and show them to you when we come back. Stay with us here on the Jimbo Fisher Show. Welcome back to the Jimbo Fisher Show. First home game of the year, Coach, was the Citadel, and it always coincides with uh, Hall of Fame weekend for FSU. I don't know in a work yeah. week how much time you had to spend with Aaron Carter and Amp Lee, but it's two pretty good football players that were back in honor before the game. Exactly right. You're all-time leading tackler and, uh, in school history, and that's saying a lot of the, de the defenders that have played here and, and had 181, I believe, in one year, and Carter did, and then I think Amp Lee, one of the most dynamic, versatile backs that probably ever played at Florida State. Yeah, he was fun to watch, and uh, it was fun to watch your team play, too, as uh, you run out of the tunnel for the first time at home in 2014, and uh, the rain held off. We got out of the way before kickoff yeah. and just played ball. It really was. It made it for a nice night. Uh, Great atmosphere again. The crowd was great. Roberto, you see him getting his timing back. His kickoffs were much better. Got the ball deep. I don't believe they were able to return one kick. Uh, here, we've got a great job. Mar uh, Marcus Walker making a great hit right there on the edge, trying to be physical. But they, they did a nice job of just, you know, getting the ball out, finding space, getting those alleys. And uh, you got to be disciplined in those run lanes. They knew how to block it. They had some tight splits at the corner, which made it tough because they could throw some fades behind it. And, you know, here we're getting some pressure. Good job inside Reggie North for led us in tackles with 10, I believe. Had a great night. Uh, Terrence Smith filling that gap right there, did a very good job. Eddie Goldman doing a good, getting a good job inside, getting physical, had a slight ankle, but uh, I think from the ports back, you know, here's a chance he'll be, he'll be, may be able to come back. So uh, very excited about that. But they, they, they did a nice job. Here we are, the first play of the game, Carlos. Nice gain on the first play, almost breaks it down the sideline. Great blocking up front by our offensive line. Or, you know, with, uh, there you go, got Kermit on the reverse. I'd like to see him hit it up inside right there, but that was pretty nice. Again, getting outside, getting on the edges. Uh, watch those ball boys. <laughs> a nice play action, you had a little screen pass and Nick on the backside. Good blocking right there by Scooter Higgins and Rashad. And uh, you know, Nick had a nice night, had five catches, I believe. Here we got a nice stretch play. Carlos turns it up north-south, runs extremely well. Uh, just caught him right on the shoelace, got to the one, got it gummit. And uh, like to get those balls in the end zone. And here we ran a little power play. Great job right there up front by uh, our offensive line, the left side, Josue and Cam. And uh, Barron did a nice job on that side along with Nick, uh, Nick O'Leary and uh, Happler, who ended up having a nice night. As did Carlos. Looked like he was running angry. He was, he was. He was He was running hard, fast. I thought all of them, him, Pender, and Cook all ran the ball extremely well. Oh, boy, they about, they about come out of there. <laughs> I've had that happen to me one time. We had a ball down on the one. And on the team. Get the option right there. Nice job by Ronald Darby getting outside. He and Jalen were playing the pitch that time, and uh, good play. And they hit it right up the middle. Boy, they're patient. Nice job. Reggie North have got to make that play. Reggie made a nice tackle, good hit. And uh, here they come back, get the pitch, get on the edge. we got to get outside. Got the, got the guy hooked right there. He missed a the tackle. Got it. That's the thing they did. They made you tackle in space, and we got to do a better job of that. They're getting the perimeter cracked back on us right there. Uh, Reggie got over top, ended up getting him out of bounds. They had some success on the edge early on. They did. They did got in those alleys. Nice play action. Uh, Nate goes up, makes a nice play. Nate Andrews uh, knocking the ball away. Very good play. 
You know, with a dive, the pitch. Now there's a nice job. Great job by Darby fitting it on the outside. He and Reggie playing the responsibilities. Here we go. We get a nice play action. Got a post over the top, and he checks it down to an underneath crossing route. Got Bobo Wilson on the first catch of the year, and I thought Bobo had a really nice night. Getting him back was huge. Here we got a little slip screen backside to Rashad. Cam's got to keep going. The corner left, he, he should have went out there. He makes that block, we probably score. You can't Let delay, just keep going. Here we go, get a little swing screen outside. Great blocking by our receivers. And uh, Mario getting it up in there. Needs to stay, I think he seemed to be a little more physical with that run right there. A nice cutback lane right here, which he does very well. Hits his back inside. Great job by Rashad. See him being inside. Jameis, either block or get out of the way. And I'd rather see him get out of the way, personally. <laughs> I have no doubts that be your Go play design. action, get the ball to the flat to Freddie. Good job. Jameis is really sharp on the night. I think he was 22 or 27, had three drop ball here. Good read on the bubble screen. He can pick it up anytime. Great job by Pops right there making the block. Christian Green and Bobo gets his first touchdown of the year. Get a little, just a little uh, bubble screen as a read that we got out there. And uh, I mean, we do those things that really puts pressure on the defense. We keep, we keep staying wide. Great job there. Tomorrow, um, Mitchell, get a, a nice two. Oh, who missed the tackle? Terrence Smith missed the tackle. We got to make that tackle. We got to make that tackle. I said, got the pitch right there. Darby's got to play off that block, forced a fumble, but they got the first down. They did a good job of getting in third and three to four or five and being able to pick those option plays and getting that first down, keeping the ball. Great job to run the quarterback follow right there, getting up inside Nate Andrews. He's Terrence a Smith big just, quarterback. He is. He's physical. <laughs> he's very physical, and uh, we got to stop the pile right there. I know that. Go to play action pass. Oh, they had it right there. Nate's got to get over and make that play. That's the thing they do. They get you, suck you up on that option and throw it in the hole. Right there, good play right there by Tyler Hunter coming over the top, uh, breaking up the pass play. And we come back in. Uh, nice. Dalvin Cook gets his first carry. He almost spits his. I mean, it's inches from going to the house because you're never going to catch him. He was right on the edges of taking that one all the way. A little bad snap got us right there. And, uh, but it's an incomplete pass because that's a forward pass. That was one of his incompletions on the night. The only one in the first half. Yeah, it was. And then nice scramble. Got out. We had some pressure, but Rashad and him have a nice job on the scramble rule, finding where to go with the ball and getting us, getting us out of there. Here we go. Third, big third down pickup. Got Nick O'Leary in a little, little stick route in the hole, and uh, Nick does a nice job of knowing where those sticks are. Here we get the stretch play going again. Our Carlos hit this thing very well all night. Good job by Carlos. Good run. The offensive line did a very nice job. Bobby Hart right there and Trey Jackson on that right side. Again, nice bounce play. Carlos running strong, running through, running through tackles, 230 pounds, being physical. It's great to see him do that. Four drives and uh, you score on all four. Yeah, in the first exactly. Half. He bounced his zone play outside. I can't see the cut, but let me tell you what. When he does get the edge, now it's hard. It's hard to get him. They they had hats and we just bounced it. And did a nice job by Dalvin. Got his first college touchdown. Was a great job. Terrence and uh, I think Jalen right there made a nice play on the quarterback follow right there. Defense kept getting better and better at this thing. Oh, we got him there. That dang, that's Desmond Holland right there, along with Derek Noddy, who got some action in there. Really liked the, what they both did in the game. Here we get a nice little swing pass. We missed a block actually on this. Great job by Mario to get it back up inside. And uh, we, we wanted to go two minutes, but we had to get a couple first downs, make sure they didn't get it back. Mario runs a little zone play inside. Nice pickup. We're right out there to get a, get a third and uh, short here. We end up picking up. Good job right there by Freddie Stevenson. Good run by Mario. Get the first down. And we get a little run right here going, and we're getting our two minute before the half. Herman Lane's first catch. Actually, the ball was called on the other side. They give us a one on one over there, so Jameis saw it and went to it. Uh, nice run right here to pick up a first down. Mario uh, on a zone play. Um, now we're back inside. We had another route call. Got an option route to the tight end. We had to go right on the outside. Cleared up. Nick doing a great job of getting yak yards after the catch. And just very efficient in our two minute before the half. Here we go. Get a scramble. Jameis finds uh, Ermin Lane again. Ermin understands the clock, gets as much as he can, gets out of bounds, controls the clock, does a real nice job. Here we are. Boom. Hits a chat, his third read on the play, checking it down to the backs. I mean, just using everybody that he can. We, here we pop a little power play up inside, well, well blocked. Great run by Carlos. And uh, we're down there at the two or three yard line. Getting this touchdown for the half is critical. We had a little pass play here. They covered it. Jameis tried to squeeze it up in there. He got us down to the one, one and a half. Not a bad choice. We have plenty of timeouts, so it's not bad to scramble. Here we get a nice little play action, find Nick on a little corner route. 
we were able to score right before the half. That was big because then we got the ball coming out. Great mesh, great, great job by the line, and, and Carlos getting a great uh, ball fake. And, uh, very efficient, had four, four possessions, four touchdowns. Defense didn't give up any points and had no turnover, so a very efficient half. Yeah, 28 nothing lead. Jameis goes 16 for 17. Uh, you know, really the only downside at this point is a couple of guys on the defensive line had gone down with yeah. injuries, but you have to be pleased with where you're at at this point. In the I, game. Very well, and I know we're coming out to the second half and uh, we'll get started. But I mean, about as efficient as you could have. A little open field tackling, but you know, when you play those option teams, and part of that, you're getting in bad position because you're having to avoid cut blocks and jump over, and we get that cleaned up. But that's, that's a tough, a tough thing to play against. The biggest play of the first half is presented by Napleton Infinity. And, uh, Coach, we didn't discuss this before we started rolling tape, but you got Bobo Wilson's first touchdown. You had Dalvin Cook getting in the Which way do you lean? Well, you know, I, I still think the first one of the game, the first drive, we get Bobo down there and we got it in the end zone and, and just getting started on the right note and, and that opening drive to take the command. He gets into the end zone. Florida State gets in there four times in the first half, a 28 nothing lead at the half. Plenty more highlights still to come, though. We will continue with the Jimbo Fisher Show right after this. Championship season in review presented by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. It is Florida State versus Nevada. The second game of the young season, the first here in Tallahassee. A lot of tailgating going on, traffic all over town, getting to the stadium. I mean, it's college football weekend. No huddle offense. Jameis went to the quarter, takes the snap. Has time, looks down, he'll throw the ball down. It is intercepted, picked off at the 38. Nevada's got the ball. First turnover of the season. Here's the snap to throw. Combs throws toward the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, Nevada Wolfpack. And they lead 6-3. Play action fake by Wesson. Throws toward the end zone. He's got Kenny Shaw. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Florida State. Touchdown, FSU. Kenny Shaw. Here's the snap under a minute to go. Wesson throws a pass. Far side of the back shoulder throw. Caught. Caught. Touchdown, FSU. Touchdown, Rashad Green. It doesn't get any better than that throw and catch. Carlos Williams to the right to the 40. Carlos to the 45. Down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch number nine. Touchdown, FSU. First carry. Touchdown. He goes into the record book somehow, someway. Carlos K9 Williams. Wow. Is he fast or what? At 232 pounds. And the Knowles move left from the 30 yard line. The snap. Hudson sells a play action fake. Looks downfield. Still looking. Throws a pass. Over the middle. Caught by Calvin Benjamin. 3 2 1. Is he in? No, short of the one yard line. Kyle Sidecar right in the shotgun, the snap inside hand off. Well, Wilder, 2 1, touchdown, Florida State. Three rushing touchdowns by three different running backs early in the second half. One back, Carlos Williams. He'll get the call running to his left. Fine. Oh, it's a bootleg run by Wilson. 3 2 1, touchdown, Florida State. Jameis Winston. Boy, did he sell the bootleg. It was a naked boot. Nobody on that side of the field. And he goes 10 yards for a touchdown. Hand off to the fullback. And Stevenson gets daylight left corner to the edge of the 5 3 2 1. He's into the goal line. Poker under center. Here's the snap. Hand off. It is Stevenson. He's got a touchdown this time. Touchdown FSU. The fullback takes it to the house. You knew it was coming, William. I did too. Out of the pistol formation, McGuire hands the ball off. It's Ryan Green. He's got daylight. He's quick in the hiccup. Makes the guy miss. Goes to the outside. Keeps his balance. Gets a block of the 15 10. 5, 3, 2, 1. Is it a touchdown, Mr. Referee? He dots the aisle with a fullback in front from the 1. The handoff, Ryan Green to the 3, 2, 1. Did he get it? He did. Touchdown, FSU. Jimbo Fisher is a football player and a football coach, William. You knew Ryan Green was going to take the ball that time just as you did when Stevenson was denied a touchdown. By what can you say about the running attack? you got to give credit to the offensive line, too. First team and second team, great job rushing the ball for 382 yards. Six touchdowns all in the second half. And Florida State beats Nevada 62-7. to seven. Championship season in review presented by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere.
Welcome back to the Jimbo Fisher Show. Tom Block and Coach Fisher and Coach 28 nothing at uh, intermission, and you get the ball coming out. And obviously, uh, you emphasize so much certain points yeah. of the game, one of them being the last drive of the first half and then the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and we were able to score in both those situations. Last week we had the turnover, but we did score in the second half, the first drive. And this one here, we got, we got 10 points without them getting their hands on the ball again this week. So that's very critical in, in trying to take control of games. We talked about it at the top of the show, but uh, that first team offense was really efficient in this it really game. Was. I think six possessions and six scores. It really was. And, you know, we had the two field goals, which we thought we could have got touchdowns, but still, I mean, you go six for six and score points, you're in good shape. Let's take a look at the uh, second half highlights here. As, uh, again, it was uh, rainy in the afternoon, but held off during the game. Great crowd at Doe Campbell Stadium. Really was. I know there, all these alternative kicks, not kicking, but it's a great job of happily catch that ball, get north south. You're at the 37 yard line. Hey, that's great field position. They want to do that. Here we start off a little. Shuffle pass, get the ball, try to get the ball in Kermit's hands as many ways as he can. Nice, good run right there. Get set. These all, everybody thinks these are big. Just get five, six, eight yards. Make them contain. Now we pitch it to him, get it to him out in space. He hits the edge. You know, nice run, another six, eight, ten yard pickup. I'm not sure how many it was, but just getting to the edge of the field and making them respect his speed and athleticism. Now here we come back, get a great play action. Good job by Carlos on the action. Got a post over the top. That's the one we hit. Uh, Pops over the top with last week for a big play, and this time they covered it, so we got one to Nick. So, you know, Jameis making great decisions with the ball. Here he's checking down to his third receiver, uh, finding the outlet, and just keep moving the chains and making good decisions. I thought he used everybody very well in this game. Here we, we, we run the zone play with a fake uh, on the reverse, kind of, but it's pulled them bad people out. We'd give it to, to Kermit a couple times, so it helped us up inside. Nice physical run. Here we go. Popped it down to a secondary receiver. We tried to work the ball back to Nick. They doubled him. Rolled over, come back to Carlos underneath. And then now right here, this is the one we got to have. We got to have this ball right here. We got we to make that play. But, uh, you know, Pops will make it. Good throw, good read. Uh, we end up with a field goal. Roberto comes in and uh, gets a field goal. Wish we got the touchdown, but, you know, it's another good drive to start the half. I was really here. I thought our defense started really doing a nice job the second half of just getting to the ball and taking care of business. Kept great leverage on the ball. Again, here they're trying to, now they're starting to throw the ball. Great seam route. Uh, there's, you see Trey Marshall in the game right there again. Tyler Hunter, those guys, they're, they're, they're mixing it up. Great job. Now, we gotta, we, we're trying to pick this up and run with it. We just got to fall on it. I thought that was a, very, a, a critical mistake in the game as far as getting the turnover. We should have just fell on that ball. But we did a great job of Demarcus Walker stripping it out. They get a man route right here. We got we to gotta cover that in a little better. He actually got by Darby there, so we got to make that. We get a little nice play action here the second drive. Jameis stands and hits a deep cross and over route to Rashad. Again, big play guy. He was a secondary receiver on the play. And... Uh, uh, great throw and catch to start that second drive. Come back. Great ball out here. Again, Erman Lane getting three catches on the game, getting some yak yards after he catches it. Very good to see him out there playing. He looked pretty comfortable. He does. Those, all those young receivers are getting better and better. Well, that's the one the guy had. We got to snatch that. When you get your hands, you got to pull it in. Guy got a hand on it, but we got to. Usually, Nick makes those plays. He makes those plays. Here we get a nice little toss play to the outside. Uh, guy comes off on the inside. We got to finish that block. I think it was in the end, but uh, uh, still a good seven-yard gain. And we missed a third right there, overthrow a little flat route. And uh, but you know, for the night we were pretty good. Great job by Roberto again. Six possessions, six scores. We pulled the ones. We were going to take them all after that series, no matter what. EJ Levenberry, great to see him in the game, getting better and better. Chris Casher, great to have him back out there playing with us. Uh, we got to make that sack, though, Demarcus. We got we got to finish that playoff right there. A uh, great job of going back over Reggie Northup, making a nice tackle on the play, scrambling back. We get those sacks. Good job, Trey Marshall. Uh, can't lose contain. Can't go spinning. And that's as if this is because it was a third down scramble. We give a, a rush lane, lost a rush lane there, and got to do a better job. And they run the option. Great job of coming on the backside, Jalen. And Jalen's so physical. I mean, he's very much like the mark, except in a much bigger body as far as how he can play up there at nickel and be physical and make plays. Mm, Tyler Hunter, another good coverage. Defense doing a really nice job this half, I think. And then they punted it, and uh, we're getting it back. We can get our twos. And uh, this is Bobo. Now, this is a big – he gets a great return, then gets stripped from behind. you got to take care of that football now. That's the one thing. They're going to hit you on the punt return at all angles. We can't allow that to happen. Sean in the game, gets a nice little play action. Our receiver here forgets to run the route. He got confused. They got a little nervous uh, get, getting into the game and the first time out there. So uh, Sean didn't have anybody to throw it to. On third down here, we have a vertical route. We tried to dump it down. 
He gets about a yard or two short, but good, good catch. Javon Harrison getting his first catch of the night. That guy's going to be a really good player. I mean, really good player. Again, great punt as far as – and I like to see more distance. Got a little roll here. We got to hit that ball. Great coverage, I meant, on that punt. And we got to continue to work on that. Hit, it, hit, hit the ball great all week. We got to continue to find some answers there. But uh, here they got the alley. Got to set the edge a little harder. And we do it. Two guys got to be over the top. We had a safety. They didn't get down in the alley in time. Here they're going to play action. Good job. But Ricky Leonard can't lose contain. But uh, ball was out of bounds. Uh, getting those big, getting a lot of those young freshmen. Jacob Pugh in the game. You see Marquez White, Trey Marshall. There's Jalen still in there. But you got uh, Roderick Hoskins. You're getting a lot of guys in the game. They're getting those young guys in there. Great job right there. Demarcus Christmas, who's going to be a heck of a player. Reggie, all those guys just playing well. You played about half your signing class. Yeah, in we did. True freshman. Yeah, we're going. We got to keep playing them now. We saw Keith Bryant in the game. I just saw him in there and getting another tackle by Reggie. Great job. Having to keep Reggie in because we're so low in numbers of linebackers. We just don't have many right now. Uh, good job, the Marcus Brutus. They had a little quarterback following. Marcus Brutus and them guys making the play, tracking it down. We got to plug those gaps. But those young guys are gonna make a mistake or two while you're in there. Oh, fade right in the corner. Can't let that happen now. But uh, they made a good play. And they try to bloop kick again. That's what's going to If we keep getting the ball to 35, I'll be happy. Now, I'm really pleased with the twos here. Really took a run down. Nice job by Dalvin Cook right here. Nice cutback lane. Just kept what I like, big plays. But, I mean, getting physical, five, six, seven, four, three, hitting balls, bounce, great run right here. Again, takes a, a, a loss of two yards and turns it into a yard, two-yard gain. The ability to have the athleticism. And those young linemen up front getting their first taste of college football and those junior college guys, you know, keeping them blocking. Good, good naked fake right here. Great to see Hap get his hands on the ball. He's had it. Great to see him get back off that injury. Hap worked very hard. There we go. Got a little motion, low inside zone play. Great run. You see his vision right there. Safety's coming down. You can't, you can't account for him. But if we're hitting him eight yards down the field, we'll make him miss eventually and break him. But that's a great job by the line up front. I mean, they're getting him to that second level every time. Untouched. Okay, got a little flip play here. We could get it to the edge. Got him. Can't miss that block, but if we could have got him a little cleaner, we'd have had a big play there. Got about nine or ten though. With that speed, you can always get those guys outside. Great third down pickup right here. Great read by Sean McGuire. I thought Sean played a solid game. Come in and made a nice little option right there to Hap. Uh, um, got to have that one. We need that back. Get a pick. We got to get that ball down. That's the one he missed, and uh, we get that one down. He can. Uh, uh, you know, might have got a third and one or two or possibly a touchdown right there. But Roberto comes in, hits a nice field goal, and we score. Th that was the last drive. We scored the uh, last three drives or three out of the last four in the second half. Again, we got to set that edge. Keelan setting the edge a little better. Jacob Pugh went on to play. Nice job right here. Great job, Jacob Pugh. Boy, he's going to be a heck of a football player, guys. I'm telling you. Big, long, athletic. It's got to get him reps in the game. Keith Bryant, I say, in the game. Demarcus Christmas, Derek Noddy. We give up the vertical pass right there. Safety, we got, to, we got to make that play. Saw Terrell Lyons in the game right there. There's Chad Maverick to get one more last play. Him and Kareem out in the game. Making somebody miss and get a nice six, eight yard run again by Dalvin yeah, Cook, who had a nice, nice game. They got a nice football team, very well coached, and they played very hard in the game. My hat's off to them, and uh, like I said, they did a great job. 37 to 12, the final Florida State gets the win, and uh, it's a school record, Jimbo, 18 consecutive yeah. wins, uh, which speaks to uh, obviously the talent and the, and the coaching that you guys have, the, the job you've been doing, but congratulations on that. Well, you always say athletics is about consistency. It's mm -hmm. about being able to repeat things over and over, and our kids are understanding that, and hopefully we can continue to do that. But that, you know, I, we didn't realize that. Somebody brought it up last week, and it's something you look at when the year's over. But very proud of our kids, and we've had a lot of consistency and a lot of good players, and our guy coaches are doing a nice job. We always look at the uh, big play of each half, yeah. so let's look back at the biggest play of the second half presented by Xfinity. And uh, typically, and, and I've learned this about you, you're going to point back to that first drive of that second half. And there was a big play and catch uh, by Nick O'Leary. It just sets the tone. And we, you know, we hit a couple little plays there with Kermit, and then we had a nice big play action. And what I loved about James last week, we'd hit that play for a big post route mm -hmm. over the top. Well, this year they took it away. He checked it down, come back to Nick, hit the, hit the guy for a 20, 25 yard gain. And that's the thing about our offense. You know, what a ball's called certain places, but he has the ability to go anywhere, mm -hmm. and Jameis has the. He, he's so smart in how he reads and makes decisions, and that was very good. For him. He had a very sharp night. You know, one of the things that's uh, a little different than the norm. You play a team like the Citadel, and the way they run the clock and manage their offense, you only wind up with eight possessions in the game. We scored seven out of eight. And that's what folks don't understand. I mean, you say it puts pressure on your defense, but it puts it on your offense because if you happen, to, you know, you go out there and you drop a ball, 
or you stumble or have a bad throw, and you know, which happens. You know, you can't play perfectly all the time. All of a sudden, now you're down to three or four possessions. That game's a heck of a game. I mean, that's just the way they play, and that's that's going against them is not just challenging defensively, it's challenging offensively because you had to make the most of every possession. Your team was able to do it, especially eight possessions compared to what, 12 or 14 in a normal game. Exactly right. Yeah, Florida State gets the win and uh, we'll have a uh, bye week to get set for a big early season showdown with the, the rivals from Clemson and we'll talk about the Tigers in just a little bit. Stay with us, there's more ahead on the Jimbo Fisher Show. Austin Barron, I'm a junior, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I play center. You know, growing up I, I played everything except for football actually. I, I didn't get to, into football until high school and uh, I played baseball, soccer, basketball, just all running around the neighborhood, playing everything, playing all the leagues and everything, a lot of fun. I don't know, I just like watching TV, you know, uh, just hanging out with some, uh, some of my teammates, just playing cards really, you know. We don't do much, we watch Netflix, we do our homework, we, yeah, we, we can go to sleep. I sleep a lot. You know, we're, uh, we're all pretty close because we've all been here since we were freshmen and uh, it's been three years, going on four now. And uh, we've built a pretty strong bond since we've been here. I'm really close with Josue and Trey and Bobby and Cam, you know, all of them. Uh, me and Bobby went to high school together, so we have a particular relationship. You know, definitely uh, going in as a freshman and playing with them in the, uh, the Champs Sports Bowl against another game. And uh, starting on a Thursday night against Boston College as a freshman has been some pretty good highlights in my career so far. I really enjoy the, uh, the major I shows. I'm an information technology major, and uh, the classes uh, are a lot of fun. A lot of the, a lot of the kids, uh, they're not used to seeing a football player, and uh, they kind of like, they kind of look at me as like a, a jock at first, but then when I show them, I know, I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty much on the same track as them. They, they kind of, I made a lot of friends through that major, and uh, a lot of good people, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. The teachers are all really, really into teaching and uh, it's just a great experience. I looked at my dad because, you know, he uh, he's a hard worker. He, uh, well, both my parents, to be honest, but both my parents are really hard workers. You know, my dad, my dad actually hurt his back when he was uh, working and he tried to go back to school and uh, finish up a different degree. And, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's always been there for me. My mom's always been there for me. My mom works long hours all the time. and. You know, uh, it's just something, something to like look up to, and you can see like your parents are working hard for you, and it's just, it's just something you feel good about. My first car was a uh, 2001 Chevy Trailblazer, and uh, I rode that thing to the ground. <laughs> I love that car; it was awesome. It was, just, it was incredible. You know, you. Uh, you, get, you come out of the locker room, just was waiting in the, under the tunnel, and um, you just hear the war chant going, and your whole body kind of just like gets a chills, and it's just it's just an incredible feeling. You know, uh, not a lot of people get to experience something like that, but it's just unreal. Honoring the past and representing the future. Florida State's new football uniforms feature a redesigned look that celebrates the unconquered spirit of the Seminole Tribe of Florida and takes Florida State into the future of college football. The only way you can make this uniform any better than its already iconic look is to make it more authentic. And the way that you guys as a university celebrate the tribe so thoroughly all across all avenues at your university. I thought this was very appropriate for you guys to celebrate them even more on the football field. And the uniforms are just that, a celebration of what it means to be a Seminole. 
on each of the new garnet, white, and black jerseys. The marks are symbolic of the greatest pregame ritual in college football. A man depicting Chief Yasiola on a horseback with a flaming spear. He throws it into the 50-yard line and the crowd goes crazy. So I really saw that as a very authentic piece that you guys already celebrate the Seminole Tribe as. And then I saw this authentic piece with this pattern. It's lively to me, man. And I love the new feather because our old feather was kind of plain. But this feather is swag. So, uh, I mean, I, I love it. That pattern work is really origin something that originated with uh, the Seminole Tribe something that really came to be known for. I think that's a graphic interpretation of that pattern work. The pattern living in the same real estate that the iconic uniform we know of uh, currently has kind of pattern living in it. So just putting it in the same areas of real estate but blowing it up and making it bolder. And in addition to the updated bold and sleek look to the jerseys and pants, the iconic Florida State helmet has become even more authentic to represent the legacy of the Seminole football program. Another kind of line of heritage or iconography um, from the state of Florida and noticed that the, the state flag had this kind of horizontal X in the background. So I thought that was a really cool tie to Florida State University. With the new alternate helmet um, uh, that goes with the black uniform, um, that, that uniform colorway specifically has a unique Seminole story within the seminal story of Chief Osceola um, and his uh, nickname being Black Drink Singer. Um, that comes from a, a rite of passage that the Seminole uh, men would do as they entered into being from men to, to be a warrior. They would drink a black drink and sing um, together and that's where Chief Osceola gets his nickname. So as the changes help take the national champion Seminoles to the next level, the updates honor everything that has made Florida State great. To be unconquered and represent all that the Seminole Tribe of Florida stands for. It's something every player can't wait to experience. To put on the new jersey for the first time and run out of the tunnel with 80,000 Seminole fans united in one purpose. They're gonna be happy because I'm happy that we got some new uniforms and we look good out there. We're going to play good. We're going to look good. As long as we got all this stuff represented that we some Seminoles, I mean, we just can go out there and play and have fun, and we still going to remain unconquered, baby. Our look ahead is presented by Farm Bureau Insurance. Register at KnollsContest.com for a chance to be the official photographer of the game. Welcome back to the Jimbo Fisher Show. Coach, uh, you get a bye week, and then Clemson is on the schedule, which, uh, you know, certainly, uh, I mean, you take them one game at a time. Fans like to look out and circle that big one on the schedule, and obviously Clemson is one of the big ones. Well, it has been. It's, been, it's, it's decided this side of the division so many times in the last couple of years, and then I say it's a double whammy game for me because I say it's not only an ACC game, it's an interdivisional game. And they have a great team. Dabo does a great job coaching them. They're, they're dynamic on defense, great up front. I mean, doing a real nice job, explosive on offense, always can throw it, run it, very diverse, great offensive line, great kicking game. So, I mean, it should be a heck of a football game. I know as we sit here, you're just uh, starting to get into uh, assessing tape and looking at tape of what Clemson does. But uh, even though they've lost some of the names, the, the bigger names like a Taj Boyd and a Sammy Watkins, they've recruited very well there. Oh, they've recruited very well. And like I say, you know, like, like us, a lot of places, you know, we lost a lot of players, but we replaced with good players. They're doing the same thing. You look back uh, a year ago, and it was such a, a statement game for Jameis and, and the Florida State team with how you guys performed at Clemson. Uh, obviously, it still counts as just one win, but the Tigers will be thinking about that, and uh, it, it's just another opportunity to go out on a grand stage. Oh, exactly. I mean, it's why you come to Florida State, to be able to play in these games, and uh, Clemson will come in here. They'll be ready to play. They'll believe they can win, and we'll be preparing to win, and we'll have a chip on their shoulder, and we're going to have to play a great football game. There's no doubt. How will you handle this week in terms of having the bye with your, your game plan, install, rest? Uh, we'll install. We'll get rested. We'll install at different points during the week. But at the same time, there's some fundamental things I want to get better at. We'll continue to do that too. So we won't continually pound that opponent for two straight weeks because sometimes you can wear it in the ground a little bit. But we'll have game plan things in there. But we'll also get better fundamentally in different phases of our offense, defense, and special teams. Yeah, I know you always talk about the, the key is to, to peak on Saturday night, not on exactly. Wednesday of game week. Exactly right. And just getting those guys to understand some things we got to get better at and get their emotions under control and have them ready on that Saturday night. 
going to be fun. Should be a terrific atmosphere. Clemson and Florida State coming up a week from Saturday at Doe Campbell Stadium. Stay with us. There's still more ahead right here on the Jimbo Fisher. Our look ahead is presented by Farm Bureau Insurance. Register at KnollsContest.com for a chance to be the official photographer of the game. Welcome back, everyone. We're joined, as always, by the head chef of Florida State Athletics, Joyce Simons. And today, we're going to be making an American classic, one of those, I guess, stick-to-your-ribs kind of meal. And this is Nigel Terrell, a great linebacker for uh, our Florida State football team. This is his favorite meal, baked beans. It is. He brought this um, to our attention. It's his family recipe. We started making it, and the team has loved it ever since we started. So we're going to make it today. We have, um, we're going to get a pan hot with just a little bit of oil in it. And then we have some already ground and cooked off turkey. And turkey adds a lot of flavor without any of the fat from pork that you might necessarily see in traditional baked beans. So we're gonna go ahead and put our turkey in. And then while that's warming up, we're gonna add some onion, some red bell pepper, some green bell pepper. These add so much flavor without any of those normal calories. It's got that color to it too. It gives, yeah. I guess kind of gives the beans a little bit more of a full looking, uh, full looking flavor, I guess. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and brown all this off. And once the onions are a little bit translucent, you can see through them a little bit. You don't want them to brown. We're gonna go ahead and add in a can of vegetarian baked beans. So we're using vegetarian to help make sure the calories are a little lower and that you're not getting some of that saturated fat from, that you might get from pork. Adding that turkey too, I mean, you cut down all the all the extra fat, that animal yeah, fat. You cut down pretty much all bacon. of it. So There's nothing like bacon, get, obviously, no. but when you have turkey, that's the best. That's the next best thing you yeah. can have. So you can see, hear it sizzling, and then we're gonna just turn the heat down on it a little bit, and to continue adding more flavor, we're gonna add some Worcestershire right here, and then I have some brown sugar because you really can't have baked beans without a little bit of sweetness. We're just gonna put in a little bit of brown sugar. No one, no one saw that extra little bit, man. No, yeah, that's no one saw that. And then we have yellow mustard, ketchup, and a little bit of honey. So we're just gonna go ahead and scrape all that in. You get the natural sweetness of the honey too. Yeah. Uh, when that, when, what's the difference between, in terms of sweetness with honey and sugar? Those, those combine together so well. Right. Well, honey and brown sugar because it has that um, toasted molasses flavor to it. It just adds so much flavor, and you can use any type of honey you like, depending on what you have in your house or um, what you can get locally. You can add some different flavor depending on what kind of honey you have. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this. You can go ahead and throw it in the oven or you can just keep it on the stove top on low heat for about 20 minutes. We've had this on the stove. You can see the liquid's gone and reduced a little bit and it ha looks like it has a lot of flavor and you can see the onions and the bell peppers have cooked down. So we're just gonna turn it off the heat and then did you want to try this? Oh, absolutely. Stuff? This doesn't take long to make at all. This is no, what, five, ten minutes really simple. max to make? You can just put it on and then get to work with other things you've cooked. This time, you've got to try one too. Oh, it's yeah. got to be both of us. We're going to have to try this. Mm. Thick, hearty, nutritious. You can't ask for anything better. Mm -hmm. No no better meal to have than you know, a nice, nice cold afternoon. You've got something like that, and that's going to really stick to your ribs. Of course, you can check out all of Chef Joyce's recipes by now visiting Seminoles.com, the official website of Florida State Athletics. And welcome back to the Jimbo Fisher Show. Coach, you used the word consistency an awful lot, uh, and, and your team was certainly more consistent from play to play this week. We were. I mean, not, not many negative plays. Uh, they were not trying to give up a ton of big plays, but we were hitting chunk plays underneath, catching, running 10, 15 yards at a pop. And uh, those are critical. You got to be able to do all those things. Even then, be patient, take the four and five yard gains, and be able to run it, throw it, do those things. But the consistency level on each drive was was very high. Uh, got better and better, I thought, from week one to week two. But each drive in that game, we kept getting the flow of the game and and very patient. I thought Jameis distributed the ball extremely well, made great decisions. We were able to run the ball much better. Offensive line did a very nice job. Uh, again, we covered kicks, but we kicked the ball better, which is always very critical. And I thought the defense did a nice job second half making adjustments and getting some more three and outs quicker in the second half and uh, really set the tone for the game. You said last year and you've said it this year that the ultimate key to this season will be how the young guys develop. Yes. So it's, it's crucial to get young guys time like they had this week. It did at, at all positions, defensive line, linebackers, secondary, uh, receivers, the young backs, even getting those young linemen if injuries occur in there, young tight end. I mean, everywhere across the board, how your young players develop usually determines how well you 
uh, and how far you go during your season because eventually they're going to have to make plays for you to win. Well, they got a lot of time this week and more opportunities ahead. Next up is Clemson, and we will see you at Doe Campbell Stadium a week from Saturday. Have a great week. We'll see you next time on the Jimbo Fisher Show.